Working in science policy means informing decisions that affect our everyday lives. This broad, fast-growing field offers many ways to get involved. Let's explore some science policy career paths and what they can look like. Maybe the most obvious path that comes to mind is working directly on policy or legislation. Whether that's through Congress or in state or local government, or working for a third party like a lobbying firm. Working directly on policy requires deep familiarity with a broad range of science and engineering issues, plus an understanding of how the policymaking process works. Policy writing skills are very important here. Science policy fellowships offer hands-on experience and are a great way to get started in this field. On the flip side of legislation, there's regulation. Once the laws are passed, how are they actually implemented? Often, policies don't contain enough detail for governments to adequately enforce the laws, so we need experts within the government to help write the regulations that protect our health, safety, and environment. This applies at the state, federal, and even international levels. Think World Health Organization. Regulatory agencies, like the US EPA or state-level EPA equivalents, are where most of these careers reside. Given that regulations cover a wide breadth of issues, from medicine to space travel to air pollution, no matter what your expertise, there is likely a role for you to play in informing regulations. Speaking of the international level, you can also explore careers in diplomacy or international development, which usually means working for a federal agency like the State Department, the Foreign Service, or an international organization like the UN. Navigating the scientific details of treaties and agreements between countries is an important role for scientists who are interested in foreign policy. Program management is the glue that holds science policy together, without which nothing much would get done. These jobs focus on how decisions involving science are being made, how funding is distributed, and how these programs function. This is a broad category, but a lot of the positions in federal government and at third-party organizations, like scientific societies, think tanks, and philanthropic organizations, have some component of program management. Working in science policy doesn't mean you have to give up doing research. Think tanks and nonprofits often act as the bridge between research and policymaking, and government agencies often need analysts with strong critical thinking and problem-solving skills to address both specific and broad issues. And of course, there are opportunities to work on advocacy, taking action in support of a specific cause or proposal. Nonprofits, think tanks, and philanthropic foundations in this space work on issues like improving access to clean water, increasing clean energy distribution, increasing funding for STEM education, and more. Some scientific societies also have staff who work on these issues. Depending on where you end up, Having strong science communication, relationship building, project management, and collaboration skills may be relevant. Finally, you could step into the political realm and work for a candidate or an elected official or run for office yourself. Working on science policy doesn't have to be an all or nothing path. You can integrate aspects of science policy into your work by building relationships with your elected officials as an expert resource, doing policy relevant work you share with different audiences, engaging through your professional society, and building a culture within your institution that embraces policy and other types of engagement. To learn more about the National Society of Black Engineers Public Policy Special Interest Group, visit bit.ly slash NSBE policy. And for more information on how to start a career in science policy, visit act.ucsusa.org slash science policy careers and join the UCS Science Network.